Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about the single phase AC circuits. In the single phase AC circuits, today's topic is behavior of AC through RLC series circuit. In the previous classes, we have discussed about the behavior of AC through RL series circuit and the behavior of AC through RC series circuit. We have discussed about the phasor diagrams and the impedance triangle and the power triangle and all we will discuss, uh, we have discussed in the previous classes. Today, we are going to discuss about the behavior of AC through RLC series circuit. In the RLC series circuit, how the phasor diagrams are and how the uh, phase angle between voltage and current and next impedance triangle and power triangle we will discuss. Okay, let's see the circuit diagram of RLC series circuit. So in this diagram, resistor, inductor and capacitor are connected in series. That's why this circuit is called as RLC series circuit. For this circuit, we are giving the AC supply. If we give the AC supply, how the circuit will behave, we will see. Here, VR is called as voltage across the resistor. VL is called as voltage across the inductor. VC is called as voltage across the capacitor. And here I is the total current passing through the circuit. As it is a series circuit, current passing through the circuit is same, but the voltage is dividing. As there are three elements, the current is dividing into three parts, VR, VL, VC. Here, V is called as total voltage and I is called as the total current. The supply voltage we are giving here, AC supply. Next, VR is called as voltage across the resistor. This is the voltage across the resistor. Next, if we take the VL, VL is called as voltage across the inductor. Next, here there is a spelling mistake. So make it correction, inductor. T is, should be there here. VC is the voltage across the capacitor. This is the voltage across the capacitor. Uh, these are the parameters of the RLC series circuit. Next, we will see phasor diagram of RL series circuit. So in the phasor diagram of RL series circuit, we will combine the phasor diagram of R and the phasor diagram of L and the phasor diagram of C. If we combine three phasor diagram, we will get phasor diagram of RLC. Okay, let's see. This is the phasor diagram of pure resistor. Okay, voltage and current, both are in the same phase. Next, if we combine phasor diagram of L, this is the phasor diagram of inductor. In the phasor, uh, in the inductive circuit, voltage and current, both are with the difference of 90 degrees phase angle. Current lags the voltage by 90 degrees in the inductor. Now, if we combine the phasor diagram of capacitor. This is the phasor diagram of capacitor. In the phasor diagram of capacitor, current leads the voltage by 90 degrees here. Okay. Now, we will combine phasor diagram of R and phasor diagram of L and phasor diagram of C. We will get the resultant phasor diagram is, in this first, there are two conditions. Okay. First case is, when voltage across the inductor is greater than voltage across the capacitor, we will get the phasor diagram like this. Okay, here, if we, if we combine resistor, inductor, and capacitor phasor diagrams, and VL is greater than VC, we will get the phasor diagram like this. So all of you observe clearly. Here, this horizontal line indicates the phasor diagram of resistor. And this horizontal line and this vertical line, this, this is the phasor diagram of inductor. This one is a phasor diagram of inductor. And this horizontal line and this vertical line downwards, it is the phasor diagram of capacitor. Now we are combining all the phasor diagrams and VL is greater than VC. That's why we are taking VC to the upwards. We will get VL minus VC. As I am taking VL is greater than VC, here we will get VL minus VC here, this line. Now, VR is a voltage across the resistor and VL minus VC is a, a combination of voltage and uh, voltage across the inductor and the voltage across the capacitor. Now, if we take the resultant of VR 
and the combination of the uh, voltage across the inductor and the voltage across the capacitor, we will get the resultant like this. Okay, resultant of VR and VL minus VC is the total voltage is V. Now, if you see the pi here, pi is a phase angle between total current and the total voltage. Pi is a phase angle between voltage and current of Oriel C series circuit. Now, if we take the one parallel line to this line, see here, this is the line indicating VL minus VC. Now, we will take the parallel line here to form the triangle. If we see the uh, triangle here, I am taking one line. That line name is called as VL minus VC. As I am taking the parallel line, for this line, I am taking the parallel line. That's why the name of this line is VL minus VC. Why we are taking this line? <coughs> To form the triangle, okay, to form the triangle, we are taking this line. The name of this line is VL minus VC, voltage across the inductor minus voltage across the capacitor. Now, if we sub separate the triangle from the phasor diagram, we will get, this is as it is the phase, the, this total triangle I am separating. This triangle is having, hypotenuse side is total voltage V, and this opposite side is VL minus VC, voltage across the inductor minus voltage across the capacitor. And this adjacent side is voltage across the resistor. Now we have the formulas, voltage across, total voltage is equal to I into Z, voltage across the resistor is I into R. Next voltage across the inductor is I into XL and voltage across the capacitor is I into XC. Here Z is called as impedance. R is called as the resistance, XL is called as inductive reactance, XE is called as capacitive reactance. Here, I, you know already, I is called as total current, V is a total voltage, and here, VR is the voltage across the resistor, VL is the voltage across the inductor, next VC is the voltage across the capacitor. These formulas we have to substitute in the above triangle. Now, if you substitute the formulas in the triangle, we will get V is equal to IZ. Next, I am replacing VR by I into R. Next, VL minus VC. VL is equal to I into XL. Next, VC is equal to I into XC. If you observe the triangle, here I is common. If you take the I is common, we will get Z, XL minus XC and R. So, it is, it is looking like an impedance triangle. That's why this triangle is called as impedance triangle. So in the impedance triangle, if we take the, if we apply the Pythagoras theorem, we will get Z is equal to under root of R square plus XL minus XC whole square. So this is the impedance formula of RLC series circuit. Okay, next, if we see the tan, if we apply the tan pi to this triangle, we will get tan pi is equal to opposite side by adjacent side. Opposite side is XL minus XC and adjacent side is R. Next, if we separate the pi from this tan pi, we will get pi is equal to tan inverse of XL minus XC by R. Here, pi is called as phase angle between voltage and current of a or LC series circuit. This is about the impedance triangle. Now, next we will see how, how we will get the power triangle and how the power triangle will be that we will see now. If you know, to get the power triangle from the impedance triangle, if we, uh, if we multiply the all the sides with I square, okay, the triangle will be looking like this. So if this is the impedance triangle, for this triangle, we will multiply all the sides with I square. Now, if we, uh, if we multiply all the sides with I square, we will get I square into Z and I square into R and I square into XL minus XC. So from this triangle, so we, if we write the power triangle, if we uh, draw the power triangle, this is the power triangle. So we know the formulas that I square Z is called as a total power that is indicated by the letter S. And next I square R is called as a active power. Okay, that is indicated by the letter P. Next I square into XL minus XC. Okay, this is called as reactive power. The reactive power is indicated by the letter Q. Okay, this, these are the formulas of active power. Active power is, is equal to I square into R. That is indicated by the letter P. 
Next, reactive power is equal to I square into XL minus XC. That is indicated by the letter Q. Next, total power. Total power is equal to I square into Z. That is indicated by the letter S. Now, if we apply the Pythagoras theorem to this power triangle, we will get S is equal to under root of P square plus Q square. Here, S is called as the total power and the P is called as active power and Q is called as reactive power. So this is about the RLC series circuit. When VL is greater than VC, when voltage across the inductor is greater than VC. Now, let's see if the, if we take the second case, how we will get the impedance triangle and how we will get the power triangle and that we will see now. For this also same, if we combine the phasor diagram of resistor and the phasor diagram of inductor and the phasor diagram of capacitor. So these are the, in, this is the resist, resistor phasor diagram and it is a pure inductive circuit phasor diagram and it is a pure capacitive phasor diagram. Here voltage and current both are in the same phase and here current lags the voltage by 90 degrees. Here current leads the voltage by 90 degrees. If we combine all the phasor diagrams, we will get and in this condition, we will take the second case that is VC is greater than VL. In the first case, we have taken VL is greater than VC. Now, assume that VC voltage across the capacitor is greater than voltage across the inductor. If we take the voltage across the capacitor is greater than voltage across the inductor, we will get the phasor diagram like this. We will get the resultant now downwards. In the previous case, we have, take, we have taken VL is greater than VC. So resultant, we will get it upside. Now we will get the resultant at downside. See here, this is the phasor diagram of this horizontal line indicates the phasor diagram of resistor. This horizontal line, the, the vertical line upwards, it is a phasor diagram of inductor and this horizontal line and this vertical line. This is the phasor diagram of capacitor. We are combining the three phasor diagrams and this resultant phasor diagram is like this. Now, as we are taking the VC is greater than VL, we will get the total uh, uh, voltage across the capacitor and voltage across the inductor we will get. VC minus VL. Okay. This is a VC minus VL is, is the one side and the other side is called as voltage across the resistor and the if we take the resultant of VR and VC minus VL, we will get total voltage resultant is equal to V. Okay. In the, in the previous case, we have taken the VL is greater than VC. So uh, we got that VL minus VC at the upside. Now we, we are taking the VC is greater than VL. So we are getting the combination of voltage across the capacitor and voltage across the inductor. We will get a downside. VC is positive now. VC minus VL and VR. The resultant is V. Now in the next case, uh, in the next step, we will add one parallel line here. To uh, What is the need to add the parallel line? To form the triangle, we will add the parallel line. Now let's see, if we add the parallel line here, we will get VC minus VL. The name of this line is VC minus VL line. Okay, now see here, this one side is having the VR and this other side is having VC minus VL and the resultant that is V. This total, all the sides looking like one triangle. Now we will separate the triangle here. If we separate the triangle, we will get the triangle like this. Okay, now we know the formulas that V is equal to I into Z, VR is equal to I into R, next VL is equal to I into XL, VC is equal to I into XC. Here Z is called as impedance, R is called as resistance and XL is called as inductive reactance and XC is called as capacitive reactance and you know I is the total current. V is the total voltage and VR is called as voltage across the resistance. VL is called as voltage across the inductor and the VC is called as voltage across the capacitor. These formulas we will use uh, by using these formulas. We will substitute these formulas in the above triangle. We will get in place of VR, I am substituting I into R voltage across the resistor. And next V total voltage, we have I into Z. 
and the voltage across the capacitor is I into XC and the voltage across the inductor is I into XL. Okay, after getting these values, the now in the triangle, if we observe, I is common here. If we take the I is common, we will get R and Z and XC minus XL. So this triangle is looking like impedance triangle. Now, if we draw the impedance triangle separately here, so this is the impedance triangle. Okay, now from this triangle, if we up the, apply the Pythagoras theorem, we will get Z is equal to under root of R square plus XC minus XL over square. See here, Z is equal to under root of R square plus XC minus XL whole square. In the previous case, we got XL minus XC whole square. R square plus XL minus XC whole square we got in the previous case. Now we are getting R square plus XC minus XL whole square we are getting. Why we are getting XC minus XL? Because here now we have we are assuming that voltage across the capacitor is greater than voltage across the inductor. That's why we are getting XC minus XL whole square. You can take any of the condition. There is no change in the answer because it is a square term. If you take XL minus XC or XL minus XC, both are same. If, uh, if you get the negative answer, then also we will get positive answer only. Okay, because it is a square term. You can take XL minus XC or XC minus XL. Both are same. This is the impedance formula of RLC series circuit when VL, VC is greater than VL. Now, if we apply the tan pi to this triangle, we will get tan pi is equal to opposite side by adjacent side. Opposite side is XC minus XL and adjacent side is R. From this, if we separate the pi, we will get tan inverse of Xc minus Xl by R. Now, what is pi here? Pi is called as phase angle between voltage and current of a RLC series circuit. For this impedance triangle, if we multiply I square on all the sides, we will get why we are doing this step to form the power triangle. We are uh, doing this step. For the above triangle, we will multiply i square and all the sides if we multiply i square and all the sides we will get i square into r and i square into z next i square into xc minus xl so this triangle we will get so now we know the formulas of uh, i square into r and i square into z and i square into xc minus xl i square into r is the formula for active power that is indicated by the letter p Next, I square into Z is the formula of total power that is indicated by the letter S. Next, Q is the formula of, uh, Q is called as reactive power that is I square into XC minus XL. If we see the formulas, active power is equal to I square into R, active power is indicated by the letter P and the reactive power that is equal to I square into XC minus XL that is indicated by the letter Q. Next, total power is the formula of total power is equal to I square into Z that is indicated by the letter capital S. Now, if we apply the, this is the power triangle. For this power triangle, if we apply the Pythagoras theorem, we will get S is equal to under root of P square plus Q square. Here, S is called as total power and P is called as active power and Q is called as reactive power. So, this is about the RLC series circuit. In RLC series circuit, we have discussed about the two cases. First one is when VL is greater than VC. Next condition is VC is greater than VL. So in the both the cases, we will get the same answer. That is Z is equal to under root of R square plus XL minus XC in the first case. Next Z is equal to under root of R square plus XC minus XL whole square. So if we use any one of the method you will get the same answer there is no difference in answer but as there is a that is a square term xl minus xc that is a square term you can use any one of the case vc is greater than vl or vl is greater than vc that is your wish this is about the RL series circuit and rc series circuit and rlc series circuit in the previous classes we discussed about the rl and rc now we have completed rlc series circuit this is about the today's session. In the next session, we will discuss the remaining topics.